Are you pissed? Hei, moi! Joitko kahvia? Aha, Kaskinen. I wanted to know what Finland's smallest town was. And I went to Google and the smallest town in Finland was, according to Google, Kaskinen with 1,288 people. Today, because it's the Finnish summer, as you can see, it was a perfect day to go on a road trip. So, that's why we're going. Hey, did you subscribe yet? No? Boy A, boy A. So go hit the subscribe button and the like button because if you do that, the YouTube algorithm will recommend the video more. As a thank you, here is a picture of the Swedish hockey team. In this town of Kaskinen, 30% of the people speaks Swedish as a mother tongue. So, let's men. Here we are, Kaskinen. Kaskinen has 10 square kilometers in size and it was founded in 1785 by the Swedish king Gustav III. Sorry, excuse me. Have you seen anyone in this town yet? No one. Oh. As you can see, there looks like this is kind of a ghost town. There is no one here. I haven't seen even one of the 1,288 inhabitants of Kaskinen. What do we have to see in Kaskinen? First, the most important thing to see in Kaskinen is a lighthouse that is located in Salgrun Island. The lighthouse is 147 years old. It's on an island that is now temporarily closed. We can't get there, but he can. The lighthouse is approximately 1.5 kilometers from here. This will be a challenge for Makarainen because the trees might cut off the signal at any moment and then Makarainen is dead. The lighthouse lamp was lit for the first time on September 13, 1875 and it was visible for 11.5 miles or about 21 kilometers. It was the first petroleum powered device in Finland. It was a major innovation in the history of lighthouses. See these houses? The staff that operated the lighthouse lived here. Imagine that. Operating the lighthouse was your whole life. And you had to live in this island every day of your life. Lonely life for them. By the way, if you come to Finland and decide to visit Kaskinen, you can rent these houses and sleep here. There are meeting rooms, sauna, fireplace room, catering service, etc. etc. This will be a wonderful place for a Finnish forerunner company, when you think. Okay, so what do we see now? This is Vladintalo, which means the house of Vlad. This mansion was built in 1788 by Peter Johann Vlad. He was a very wealthy Finnish businessman who belonged to the Swedish East India Company. The Swedish East India Company was inspired by the success of the Dutch East India Company and the British East India Company. All these companies were trading with China and the Far East, importing silk, tea, furniture and many other things. Russians burned one of the houses of Vlad and they imprisoned Vlad and his son. This house was the biggest house in Kaskinen for a really long time and it has been a church a school, a police station. Various events can be 
organized in this house. You can rent it for weddings and other kind of things. The upper floor holds space for around 120 people. So again, if any forerunner Finnish company would like to rent this place for a meeting, that's a good idea. This is a map of Kaskinen. As you can see, this town has been really well planned and all of the streets are straight and the blocks have roughly the same or actually almost the same areas. And let's see if we can go inside. Probably have to pay something. I don't know. Hello. I don't even know if I can walk in here. I'm not sure if this guy over here is Blav or his son. Yes, so this is Peter Johann Blav, who died in 1816. This must be the dining room. Let's go upstairs. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? What are these? This must be a visitor's visitor's book. I guess I found an instrument of the people that are playing over there. Imagine when 200 and something years ago, Vlad was standing here looking at his neighbors, saying, yes, I have the biggest, biggest house in Kaskinen. Before the Russians came and... and I didn't expect that we would be able to go inside, so that was a nice plus. That boat sounds like me after I eat hernegeito. And this is Vlad in Talo. Two in the afternoon. We still haven't had lunch because of me, because I wanted to film this and fly the drone and so on. But she has been helping me a lot. But let's see if she's pissed already or not. Are you pissed? No. Are you sure? 